All right. So, when did this all start? Um, so I started getting pain in my foot in October last year um, and didn't really think much of it. Um, I had been seeing a, a podiatrist previously, but they had just given me um, orthotics um, and not much else. But then um, it started to get really bad, so I had an x-ray and an ultrasound um, on the foot. And um, that's when I went back to the podiatrist and he was like, no, nah, nothing. It's not really anything we can do at the moment. Just keep with your orthotics. Um, then in January, um, I was still having the pain, and then he suggested the pulse. Is it the pulse magnetic? Well, um, the shockwave. Shockwave, that thing. So, with um, um, did the orthotics help you? Well, yes and no. Yes and no. Um, okay. It, I, did, I did notice a difference, um, but from what I've now known from Dean, um, they were pretty bad orthotics. Oh, right. So okay. The new ones that I have now are very, very thick, um, where the old ones <laughs> were very thin. Um, and that sort of stuff so they weren't really um, yeah I think at the time they did make a difference but I think as the pain got worse um, it didn't start to make it like it kind of paid up um, then, then what happened yeah uh, yeah so then it was in um, so I just I, I had the, the shock wave therapy uh, but he wanted the old um, person wanted me to have it weekly and it was $110 a pop and I couldn't afford that so I just put up with the pain for a while and then my husband went and had toe surgery at one point health um, so then I booked an appointment saw Jeff um, and he suggested that I had a cortisone injection um, in the area um, where I was having the pain and that sort of stuff and we had that um, but then within a week I what I have now is what it had started back then so, um, so that was for in, about a week you had a bit of yeah relief. about four days I had like no pain and it was really good and I went shopping um, and I had to stop like every few minutes to um, think because my foot just keeps seizing it's kept seizing up um, I was in a lot of pain um, so then that's when I went back to the podiatrist um, and at first they said get new shoes, get new um, things because he thought it might have been my shoes um, and then we did that and then Dean started with the glucose injections mm -hmm. and I had I think four of those um, every two weeks so I had one like one every two weeks um, and then we eventually finally had the MRI once we basically got the MRI results and I got passed on to you. When did you go in the boot? Oh, uh, that was so I had so I had the thing on the 5th of July um, I'd say by the 10th of July I was wearing the boot mm -hmm. um, but it was on and off um, thing and then probably two weeks later um, was when I'd been in the boot been in the boot full time and I haven't been out of it since and, it, and, and the boot relieves your pain yes and no like, yes and no I'm still getting like um, like I don't get the ache as much when I'm in the boot um, um, and I, obviously there's that support and everything, um, but yeah, I st I'm still getting those cramping and the muscle things, even when I'm walking, it still happens. Like I was sitting down most of yesterday and it was going crazy yesterday. Summer, can so, you, um, so, so can you just describe before he put, I, I want you to just do a little, um, palpation, dorsiflex and evert the foot in a sec, dorsiflex and evert the foot as well and hold it there for about 10 seconds, see what that feels like. But can you tell me what going crazy means? Um, so basically the, like, um, yeah, I was having a lot of, yeah, um, I get a lot of pain like here uh -huh. and up here. And how does that, what does that pain feel like? And it, it feels like, like a muscle tension, like it feels like literally, a, that's what it feels like. Like a spasm? Like, yeah, like a spasm. That's what it feels like. And then, as I said, all the rest of it is just aching or pain. So with um, the foot pushed yeah. back and everted, what does that feel like? That's, it feels like, it, like it's overstretching, like it feels... Yeah. And what is that doing now? That is that's like a pinching, but that's on the other side, which is weird. Okay, <laughs> let's go through um, palpation and just. Um... Give me something there. Yeah. Yeah. And um, tell us if you feel any radiating or tingling or burning into the foot. Feel like that from like there, like that's coming back up here. I feel like that's coming back here. So he pushes on that, yeah. so pushes that muscle belly and it's going back up back the leg. Back up there, yeah. But then the further down you go, like just there where you just push, that went up here. 
that went up there. Amazing. Right. Does it ever go into the toes or it stops around the ball? Uh, the occasionally. I have had it once or twice in, but I got it like in here, which I thought was weird. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, no, not usually. Right. So, uh, um, so I want you to get your thumb and I want you to hold it at the abductor hallucis at the, the bottom section where the orthotic will be up. Just there. Hold it for 10 seconds and just tell me what does that feel like? Pain. Locally yeah, or is it moving? It's locally at the moment, but I think if you like were to say, for example, if you move that way, because um, it's, it's like water lining on the side there. Yeah, like that that one, that's coming that's coming this way. It's coming that towards yeah. you again. Yeah. Okay. Mark the abductor hallucis for me. Beautiful. So, yep, so that's the um, the proximal margin of it. So where's the Porta Peter start? Um, about there. About there. So that's the distal tarsal tunnel. So you're going to go... Yeah, exactly. So we're not going to do it proximally because most of the symptoms are here. And then we're going to release the plantar fascia through there. Oh. I'm going to put you in a cast. You cool with that? Yep. And you're going to chill. Yep. You're going to elevate and chill out. Yes. All right, done. My okay, uh, let's quickly go through some of the surface anatomy. Uh, the muscle of interest is the abductor hallucis muscle. It expands from the tuberosity of the calcaneus, the heel bone, to the big toe. You'll see in the upcoming surgical pictures that the abductor hallucis muscle has a white-colored sheath that lies over it. This is referred to as the superficial sheath or the superficial fascia of the abductor hallucis. The uh, superficial fascia of the abductor hallucis coalesces with uh, the flexor retinaculum. The tarsal canal is located behind the medial malleolus and this canal becomes a tarsal tunnel as a result of the flexor retinaculum passing over the structures and creating a closed space. The posterior tibial nerve is one of the structures that passes through this tunnel. So tarsal tunnel syndrome is an entrapment neuropathy of this nerve or one of its terminal branches. The terminal branches that are involved uh, in tarsal tunnel syndrome include the lateral plantar nerve and its first branch and the medial plantar nerve. The full release of the tarsal tunnel would include the entire flexor retinaculum and also the superficial fascia of the abductor hallucis. Uh, the full release would normally start at approximately 10 centimeters above from the medial malleolar tip and extend down to the abductor hallucis muscle belly. With the distal tarsal tunnel release, only the superficial and deep fascia of the abductor hallucis are released, so the incision is considerably shorter. Let's start going through the surgical pictures. We start off with our curvilinear incision over the abductor hallucis muscle belly. Once the skin is cut through, uh, you will see the uh, fatty layer underneath it. When the fatty layer is moved out of the way, you can just see uh, part of that superficial sheath or superficial fascia. The superficial fascia is cut uh, along its entire length uh, which will expose the abductor hallucis muscle belly. Once the uh, muscle belly is lifted and retracted out of the way, you can just see some of the fibers of the deep fascia of the abductor hallucis. Moving the abductor hallucis muscle belly out of the way completely exposes the deep fascia. Underneath this deep fascia lies uh, the tibial nerve and uh, the branches that we had mentioned previously. Under this deep fascia lies the tibial nerve. So just like the superficial fascia, it is cut uh, along its entire length. And this is the final part of the release of the distal tarsal tunnel. Okay, um, we have Kelly with us. We performed, Kelly, so it was about three months ago. Yes. Um, a distal tarsal tunnel release and a plantar fasciotomy. I was just uh, reviewing Kelly on how she was going because I saw her about six weeks ago 
and at that time we were getting some quite a bit of pain underneath the um, the arch area where the plantar fascia was cut right. that seems to have settled down now yep. uh, Kelly, the pain that you were getting prior to the operation was what level? What? A 10, definitely. So it, was a, so it was about a 10 out of a 10? Yeah. And that nerve pain now? Zero or one. So we're about a zero or one out of 10. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. Um, we were discussing off camera the use of orthotics. I usually tend to, to get patients out of their orthotic because the most controlling part of the orthotic is here and it tends to push up into that abductor hallucis muscle mm -hmm. and it can cause further compression one on the incision line but the nerve runs underneath there too so it can aggravate it and I think Kelly you realize that as well correct so what did yeah. you pick up what were you so you I was so, so when I was wearing my orthotics the immediate pain was here um, but after about five minutes or so it would stop because um, I, I just figured my feet were getting used to it but I would then have pain throughout the entire day like it would be aching like it wouldn't be obviously anywhere near what it was but it'd ache all day um, and it'd depend on what I was like what shoes I was wearing to how much pain I was in um, but then when I um, this week I've actually started not wearing the orthotics at all and I've had no pain in my feet at all no. right right and, and our colleague, Dean, that's what he did. Correct. He took the orthotics out and just left you with the plane in the sole. Yeah. Uh, lovely. So if we have a look at um, the scar, we can still see the scar. It's still a little bit thickened. And when I poke in there, there's a little bit of um, scar tissue underneath the skin. Not a lot. It's quite mobile. I mentioned um, to Kelly that this will start to remodel over the next nine months or so. Uh, you can still see that it's it's discolored it means that there's little blood vessels still feeding that scar they will slowly slowly die away and as they die away this will thin down and hopefully become a, a nice fine white line uh, but so far for three months uh, really happy with the result thanks